What's up guys, gotta head to the store, it's time. We're talking about healthy living, healthy eating. Me and my wife, this is something we're into. And I'm teaching this to my kids because our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And so we wanna treat it right, do right by it. And to do that, you gotta put the right things in. So I'm headed to the store, I will see you there. Let's get going. This is Kanika on the phone. I'm here. She's checking to make sure that, you know, her husband ain't forgetting nothing. You're doing a good job, babe. We got it done in really good time, might I add. I've been doing this for some time now. That's what happens when you learn the story. I used to be frustrated. Now I know where everything is. Listen, so people want to know, yeah, I see you eating healthy and all in the garden and all that at Whole Foods, but how much does that cost? It depends on what you buy and it depends on how you buy it. Now we all know we're dealing with inflation, but I count the cost against how often I go out to eat. All you have to stop doing is giving everybody else your money at the restaurants and you'll realize how much more you actually have for yourself. Okay, Chef Paul, we gotta stop just for a second. Why do you use this? What does it do? How does it make the food taste? It's magic because all 16 amino acids that our body needs, amino acids turn into our protein. This adds soft flavor, but it doesn't raise your blood pressure, doesn't retain any weight. Whether it's fish, chicken, beans, rice, soups, greens, it's just a great alternative so you don't have to compromise taste. Mm -hmm. She loves to be in the kitchen with Chef Paul and her older sister who can't be here. Ready to cook. Here, you can put all the bell peppers over the potatoes. Oh, yeah. Let's get on that side over there. How long until you think she's a pro? Oh, uh, let's see. How old are you? Six. Ten, she should be good. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about dairy. Why you cut most of the dairy out. Three things on dairy really quick. Dairy has twice as much cholesterol as any meat. Most of the time people fall in love with dairy because it's creamy, it's smooth, you can put it on everything, but then they don't understand why their blood pressure is up or their cholesterol is up or their weight gain won't go away. Number two, dairy is the second leading cause of every cancer. Okay, say that again. Dairy is the second leading cause of every cancer. And I love cheese. It you know, took, it it out out took, took it out your diet. Dairy is the root cause of all sinus and allergies. Allergies and sinus is not a weather issue, it's an autoimmune issue. That's why you've eliminated our cheese, you've eliminated, eliminated our milk. We use rice milk. And the kids love it. The kids love it. Get away from all of the margarines and the spreads because all of those are one degree away from plastic. That's why they float. Oh. But that's why I do this. I'm making the investment. Yes, there's a cost associated with it, but there's a cost associated with anything right. Anything that makes you better, there's always a cost associated with it. And because we're putting it into our bodies, the value's there for me. Right. Pay now or pay later? Pay now or pay later. Pay now or pay later. <laughs> lay away. We're doing the lay away. We're going to do this. You just get now. Pay now. Pay now. Listen, we had a great time showing you guys how to treat your temple. It's been two years now that Mr. Paul has been coming over and cooking for us and teaching us how to shop. And we feel better. We're teaching our kids because train up a child in the way they should go. Yes, it's the word of God, but this is a spiritual issue. What do you think, Kanique? Because you're the doctor. You're the physical therapist. I'm glad you're giving me a chance to talk. I just thought I'd throw the ball to you. Uh-huh. Yes, I am a physical therapist, so health has always been just a part of my life. The first little bit of pushback we got was from our kids, even like with behavioral issues like food, all of that stuff plays a part. If we're eating at home, they'd rather eat comfort foods that have all the calories and fat. We've noticed that their taste buds have changed. They get excited about broccoli. They get excited about Brussels sprouts, and it's very interesting how that has happened, but this is what we have at home. This is what we're eating. It's your choice if you want to eat it or not. So this is a, a spiritual thing. We don't want to take in bad things visually. Yeah. We shouldn't want to take in bad foods physically. First Corinthians 6, 19 and 20 says that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Your temple is a representation of who the Holy Spirit is yeah. when visitors show up. As you were talking about the spirit, it reminded me of the fruit of the spirit of self-control. Ooh. And really denying of the bad stuff and saying, this is what I really need to be eating. Anytime someone's coming over, you say, it's time to clean up. That's right. Because our house is a representation of who we are. Yes, this cost. So does going out to eat all the time. So do medical bills. So <laughs> It all comes back around. You want to pay for it up front, and you want to pay for it later. Choose not to go on layaway. We're just going to pay now. Okay, listen, guys. <laughs> Be steadfast and movable. Always abound in the work of the Lord. And know that it will not go in vain. We hope this helped you. We hope you have ideas. Stay tuned. I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Paul Ritter, our chef, personally, so he can give you the how-tos of where to get started, how to get it done. And he's even going to share his cookbook with you. Also, yeah. in the comments, can you tell us what healthy habits you have in your family or what ways you're incorporating healthy foods for your kids? 
because that's always the struggle. So we'd love to hear from you guys. All right. Talk to you soon.